Justin Evans pretended to be a police officer and used a fake badge to target his victims nearly two years ago. In December... Sudden man pretending to be a fake police officer. Justin Evans pretended to be a police officer and used a fake badge to target his victims nearly two years ago. In December, a jury convicted him of kidnapping and rape. And this morning, he learned his punishment. But before that happened, the defendant had a few things to say. And Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains why Evans is now claiming he didn't get a fair trial. Even at his sentencing, Justin Evans remained defiant. It still was a conflict of interest. Evans blames his conviction in December on his public defender's illness. I do know I have the right to a healthy lawyer to be able to make cognitive decisions and use his professional judgment. In August of 2021, prosecutors say Justin Evans was driving around Tampa with a fake police badge and lights. The defendant pretended he was a police officer. He effectuated a traffic stop on a vehicle containing three women. One of those women says Evans ordered her out of the car and arrested her. He told me that I was under arrest because he found marijuana in the car. She says Evans handcuffed her and put her in the back of his car. He then drove her to an apartment complex where he raped her. Additional charges. <laughs> Yo. I thought we were scared of the police. Now we out here fucking. <laughs> Yo, streets are dangerous out here, man. This this the sixth member of the Scorpions unit, man. Streets are dangerous, man. This is crazy, man. Sun man was out here pretending to be a police officer. Snatched the chick up out of the car. She in the car with three of them. It's three chicks in the car. He pulls them over, snatches one out, arrests her, takes her somewhere, rapes her. What the fuck? Yo, that's bold, man. That's bold. That's brazen. I can't even think of a word to describe that, man. That's goddamn shit. And arrested her. He told me that. On a vehicle containing three women. One of those women says Evans ordered her out of the car and arrested her. He told me that I was under arrest because he found marijuana in the car. She says Evans handcuffed her and put her in the back of his car. He then drove her to an apartment complex where he raped her. Additional charges were filed against Evans when another alleged victim came forward after reading media reports and recognizing his car. This time, the crime was captured on surveillance video. Deputies say you see Evans driving a dark-colored Chevy Malibu, pretending to be a police officer, pulling over a woman near the corner of Brook Street North and Bush Boulevard East. The Yo, he's doing this shit in broad daylight. <laughs> Yo, he's not like doing this shit in a secluded area. He's not picking, you know what I'm saying, his suspects and shit. He's out here wilding, my G. This son man is out here wilding. He ain't got no brakes. He just out here pedal to the metal straight wildin damn against evans when another alleged victim came forward after reading media reports and recognizing his car this time the crime was captured on surveillance video Deputies say you see Evans driving a dark-colored Chevy Malibu, pretending to be a police officer, pulling over a woman near the corner of Brook Street North and Bush Boulevard East. The video shows him making her get out of the car and patting her down while her seven-year-old son was inside the car. He leaves a short time later. But it would be the charges against this victim that would seal Evans' fate. He was found guilty of sexual battery and kidnapping. The judge sentenced him to life in prison. Life. Life in prison. <laughs> this guy 
I got life in prison. So oh, maybe, <laughs> did you see that video I did about the talk, those black people telling their kids about all this bullshit police harassment they experienced? What if it was this guy? <laughs> What if that's what they were talking about? What if they was telling the truth, man? And it was this guy fucking with all those black people, man. Damn, yo. He got a life sentence for this shit. My God. He smoked his boots, man. Sexual battery and kidnapping. The judge sentenced him to life in prison. Gomez, Fox, 13 News. The remaining charges on a separate case were dropped by prosecutors after Evans was given a life sentence. A life sentence. Jesus Christ. Devontae Hightower plotted and executed the murder of a young father in order to rob him. They say he then he tried to start a fire to hide his tracks. And now three years later, Hightower is on trial for that crime. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us the evidence the jury got to see. Prosecutors say a young father was shot and killed on May 7th of 2020. One of his roommates made the gruesome discovery. And what he sees is a pile of blood. And his friend Tyler in a seated, slouched position in the corner. Tyler? Covered in blood and unresponsive. Prosecutors say a trail of evidence leads them to Devante Medina Hightower. Yo, that nigga, dude, that's a cold looking brother. <laughs> Man, why are you in court looking like that, man? You supposed to be trying to fuck <laughs> Yo, you in court looking like a cold savage, man. Like, dog, man, tone that shit down a little bit, man. The jury or the judge, they looking at you, man. You want them to think you a nice person, man. You look like a whole savage, man. They say he killed the 25-year-old for his guns and cash. Right before the murder, Hightower sent a text message to a witness. The day that Tyler Henderson is murdered, at 9.15 in the morning, Devontae Hightower Medina texts Ashley Murillo and says, I'm going to do that lick. A lick, you will learn, is slang for robbery. Prosecutors say after the murder, Hightower tried to hide his tracks and set the house on fire by burning clothes and other items in the oven and stove. They say his fingerprints were found on the knobs and handle. However, the defense tried to point the finger in a different direction. They say Henderson made himself a target with his risky behavior that included drugs and possible gang ties. The mother of his children says she heard the rumors, but never saw it. There a red bandana bandana at his gravesite yes what does that symbolize i don't know a lot for the jury to think about gloria gomez fox 13 news so he's trying to say he ain't did it even though his fingerprints is on the stove that <laughs> the, the stuff was burnt up <laughs> <sighs> A lot for the jury to think about. 